Okay, well, welcome to Thursday, March 18th version of my 164 custom diecast workshop. As you can see, I've got some decals in the water. Just put them in for this gloss competition orange Skittles car, Kyle Bush, of course. And um, I'm trying to think who drove the 18 before Kyle Bush. I don't know. Um, but, oh, was it Bobby Labonte? Um, anyways, I am going to start decaling this thing and having some a late lunch. I'm trying to trying to discipline myself a little bit better and and get down to uh, about two meals a day. Um, so uh, this is my lunch. What do you think? Scale underneath there, some pecans, three eggs, some broccoli, a little bit of ham. Awesome, huh? <laughs> Love getting older. Trying to cut back on my carbs for sure. So, as that's sitting there, let's look at a couple other things that I've got in the works. So I just finished decaling this. Let me set my food over here. I don't know why I had it in my hand. Um... So I just just finished decaling this, and it went really well. I'm real happy with it. I did have a little issue, but I'll get to that in a second. Things have kind of come together here uh, for the hood pretty well. I just touched up the hood pins here with some aluminum. Um, everything across the front's looking pretty good. I had cut this top of this um, circular saw blade here and when I had put it down in there it exposed a little bit of the black across the top so I fit a piece in across there it looks a little maybe it looks better on the camera than it does in person <laughs> but once I get some sealer on it it'll it'll be okay everything goes together pretty well here got this to compress in a little bit touch the aluminum there for the old style 2001 fuel door there so that's that <clears throat> don't have any issue here on the American flag you can see where that little protrusion is and if I wouldn't have trimmed it off it would be really sticking out would have been a real mess I kinda like that look better I'll take a little aluminum and touch that up. I actually forgot to do that, but I'll do that now. I had the only issue that I had, well, I shouldn't say the only issue. Let me go back this way. This roof decal, you know, I put on actually the very, it's the very, very last decal I put on. And you can see how I have to get it to compress down as it meets this uh, side decal here and up here. And I have to press it down over these roof lines here. And the microsole really helps a lot. So I got that pressed down. There's a little bit of overlap. But it's not too bad if I could hold this still, right? I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. You can see I got a little bit of the glue. A little too much glue in this corner. And, and you can see what happens if that glue, on that glue. You can see... Here on this back win window there you can see that right in that corner there so you got you know you got to watch the glue get too much it'll it'll show through um, I have to trim the American flags here to kind of fold them up underneath uh, so that they um, they get up underneath there the one problem I had and this is just you know, it happens every once in a while is on this little decal right here. If you can look real close, right in the center, I had to piece a small little piece in because when I took this off, it was scratched or something. There was a little circle right in the center that um, 
was missing and so it was black right when I put it on it was black right there so I trimmed a little piece actually it's kind of funny I had these decals sitting here uh, bud Budweiser decals it says bud and it's and it's kind of white with a little bit of black I trimmed that piece and I put it right in there and again just to cover up that black hole with some decal that matches what's already there it has a little bit of white a little bit of black and uh, and fit that in there just to cover that it's obviously not perfect anybody looks closely at it you can see right there maybe at an angle what I did to put that in there so anyways this is now gonna dry and I will work that with some sealer here tomorrow I've completely finished this thing that I was working on the other day if you had noticed there weren't any marks on this side of the car as I was trying to do this race version right got a lot of sealer on it but I had to touch up a little crack that had that was right here across this front it had chipped when I put the windshield back in so I had to get some yellow there and inevitably it kind of trickled down just behind this McDowell name banner I, I was gonna try to get in clean it up but I think I'm making it worse so I'm just gonna leave it just as it is if you can see that right there on the windshield it's not perfect but that's what it looks like this side was the fun side trying to match it up to you know what crossed the finish line you guys saw that in the last video since the last video ended I put a little bit of black across here because it in the pictures it looked like there was a little bit of an opening there so I just put a little bit of black there you know kinda haphazardly um, and then you know just touched up a little bit around here and what I did was I used on a couple of these things but I just used a little bit of this right got a little bit of black on there and what I was doing was I was just kinda touching it up a little bit you know and just kinda messing around you know pushing it around um, I got a little bit too much back here so I had to get some paint thinner to kinda clean it off but that's what it looks like so I'm gonna do another one uh, just so you guys know um, with a different yellow a little bit lighter yellow try to better match the car itself probably with the standard rust-oleum yellow that I have and um, and try to do this again Th there was somebody that commented about using maybe some of the uh, HVAC foil tape I thought that was a good idea I don't really like using um, stickers or tape but um, I may just give that a try I'm sure I got some laying around in this basement um, but that might uh, that might also look um, look pretty good with regard to uh, with regard to um, you know this race version so all in all I'm 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 real happy with it turned out you know this will be this will be the first one obviously that I've done I'll do another one or two I'll do another gold one and so uh, so yeah happy with that so all right let's see if this is ready and yeah, it's probably ready um, working that kind of chrome metallic finish which will be another trump car and messing around with this Stenhouse car let me show you just real quick what I'm doing there before I get into decaling this thing so I ordered it with the blue background removed but as you can see everything from this B pillar back is 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 white same thing here on this side and you can see the roof on the back side is going to be white there's a transition of course and the trunk is white here and the rear bumper I I don't, and I was emailing with, um, I think, Mr. Joey, um, I don't like using white decals. It just doesn't look very well at all. 
So if I can help it, I always try to get the white background to be removed. You run into it, different issues, right? Because on this, this is a complicated paint scheme because I had the darker blue and then the white and I just decided to do the darker blue because of the the hood and this um, you know headlight here it, it was just I don't it's just a difficult decision but I kept to I decided to keep the white with the idea that I'll then paint the car blue and then I'll kinda paint white across the back I didn't spray paint it I just used my white paint pen and went across it. So when I lay the uh, white decals over it, it'll definitely be a, a white, a white finish. So, uh, so that's what I did there. Um, when I get a special request, I've said this before, I like to make two of that car, and I'll take the best one and give it to the one who made that request. So if this one doesn't turn out very well, then uh, I'll probably put it up on eBay, and I'll make another one for the request. Uh, or the requestor, so that's what's going on there. All right, let's get back to Ben's car with the last part of this video here. So I've already painted a couple things here. I got the black across there, the black roof lines, uh, the black spoiler. I actually did the little silver on the trunk pins there, so that's already done. Whoa, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That orange and black combo and green is pretty neat. That's nice. Nice. All right. Let's go on to the fun part. The real fun part is uh, the hood. That's cool. Now let's try to get it straight. Yeah, this is normally yeah, you know, my brush is normally dry. Might have a little bit of dampness to it, very little, when I'm at this stage. But I want to make sure that I'm pressing down and getting this, getting any kind of bubbles or, you know, water that's trapped in there. And when it dries, it's not gonna, it's not gonna dry very nicely. Good. Let's go on the back here. Whoa. Somehow, some way I got a lot of a lot of water on that, that one. Whoa. Bunch of water. <clears throat> I 
So I was going to say, if you're watching my videos, and um, if you're the one that requested um, the Crest Car, it was Mr. J. I've been trying to reach you. Uh, this came in, request came in via eBay Messenger. And so I've um, been trying to send you a message, or I've, I haven't been trying. I've sent you a message about your car being done. So if you happen to watch the video and you hear me talking about it, um, your Crest car is finished. Just shoot me a message. Let me know you're ready. And I will get that out to you. So. Yeah. See this. Just pressing this down here to get it over those trunk pins. I guess I really didn't need to put the aluminum on the trunk pins just yet. I didn't realize that this was going to cover cover them but no big deal you can always go back over it again okay let's do this let's do this bumper here sometimes I cut the 18 off or I shouldn't say the 18 the number there but since this is a relatively flat um, back and it's going, you know, the transition from here to here is, you know, basically nothing. I just left it on. If it was like coming down here, of course, and it was a bigger dip or transition, I would have cut the 18 off and pieced it on separately. But, like I said, given given that, that that's easily there, It's easy to just keep that on. That looks pretty straight. What definitely gets cut off though is a 7-Eleven that goes right in this little nook in here. So it's kind of it's kind of tucked in there. So you have to really take that out separately. that in there yeah I've been watching more um, read more about like the keto diet and stuff like that and so uh, so that is uh, definitely something that um, trying to watch a little bit better and um, it's basically the idea is to kind of keep your carbs down and um, have some just you know just eat a little bit less so trying to do that it's not easy <laughs> it's not easy at all <laughs> told you guys how much I enjoy you know pizza and soda and um, just trying to cut that cut that back so, more eggs, a lot more eggs, leafy green vegetables, that kind of stuff. That will be definitely better for me in the long run. doesn't really stretch all the way. You can see it's a little short on this side. Let's see if I can get that better centered. going to be a little short okay and then you have these little pieces on the sides go like so
and just trying to get the get any kind of water out so it lays nice and flat This is kind of the fun part. Get this in there. Trying to get this straight. Minimize the seams that you can see. Yeah, somebody asked a question if I have a website as well. I just got to respond to some of the comments. But um no, no website. Just this channel and just my email. Believe me, I, I don't want another thing to manage. Um I don't I don't I don't have too many requests and I definitely don't have a stock of cars that I make and keep and post up for sale on a website. I mean, I make them as they're ordered and um, and then I make a few that I like to make I make some for myself of course but and I just put them up on eBay I don't really have cars laying around <laughs> that are not either going to somebody or or are going up on uh, up on eBay for sale so um, no website no website here and no really plans for it either um, I'm content with what I'm doing. Um, the big shift I made was was just building this channel and um, and making these videos. That's that's kind of I mean I've been basically working um, for about ten years just uh, selling stuff on eBay and and then having people you know message me on eBay or shoot me an email if they if they've somehow some way got my email address but um, but yeah just trying to keep it simple all right let's try to get this centered here this is a little a little bit of a tricky piece to put in. Oh, why is it wanting to bend on me? So this needs to kind of tuck in there. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some of this microsole. I'm going to try to work that in. Soften it up a little bit. Let's see if I can get this in here. Once you put that microsole on, you got to be careful with touching it too much because it'll definitely um, pull. It'll get stuck to your finger. So you kind of have to be real careful with that.
I'm ready to just let that sit. I think I got it in place pretty well. See, the word Camry kind of rides up a little bit, but oh well. All right, it's going along pretty well. I see a little raised area right there. But hope you're liking this, Ben. Trying to get it done here. Not too, I'll make you wait too much longer, I guess, <laughs> than you've already had to wait since I drew your name. A few weeks ago maybe it was so all right guys I appreciate you watching hope you're doing well I'm gonna get after my lunch here and um, we will see you in the next video I'll keep working this get this on and show you the end product when I'm done so all right guys God bless take care